moved into uh, a backline coaching role as well as uh, team defence, which I've done for the last two years prior to this year. So definitely understand more about what a backline coach expects from team defence. We identified some areas we need to work on over the pre-season and we felt Hick was uh, suited to uh, helping with one of those areas um, in contested ball and with our mids. So that role then became available as a backline coach and I took that on as well after last year. One of Pratty's strengths is he's able to adapt to um, different personalities and he, and he knows the game really well so guys really like talking, talking to him about footy and you know, he relates to a lot of different people so no, he's doing a great job. Any decision that gets made obviously comes down to the head coach, uh, final, final say, but our philosophy on defending um, hasn't changed. Uh, as a group we discuss in pre-season as the season goes on uh, what's important for us in our defence then we'll make a decision on what we need to um, adjust. So we made some slight adjustments on the way the game has moved, or the way we felt it was going to move, as well as other teams have. So it's a group decision, uh, Simo will make a final call on it, and then it's the line coaches and my job to help educate that to the players. We've been defending a similar way for the last three um, years, or last two and a half years now, going to this season. So uh, it's easy to work in with the other line coaches on what we want because they understand the system. I can just have a conversation with them, what have you seen, what have I seen, speak with Simo and then we, we match it up uh, and then we make a decision on what we're going to do and they can educate on team defence as well as um, their line as well. Their, their line stuff includes the team defence element. Love Perth, um, I only know three suburbs and that's Scarborough, Trigg and uh, Subiaco because I work there. I uh, have dinner down in Scarborough and I surf at Trigg and Scarborough, so a uh, very simple lifestyle. I live close to the beach um, and it gives me time to um, do what I like doing um, as well as coaching, so really good balance. We're a bit of an older group, playing group, so the age gap between our coaching staff and our, our playing group isn't too far off. Um, some of them are actually older than me, so I tell them that every so often, but uh, you're able to build really strong relationships um, through that and that's probably the, the best part, of, part about coaching here.